Namaskar and welcome to Adi Yoga. Today this video is about Padmasana, the right technique to Padmasana. Because in Padmasana we can, we can directly get into Padmasana, but sometimes we miss the very basic techniques. How to prepare yourself to get into Padmasana? Because if we don't get, um, uh, you know, if we don't involve hip joints in a proper way, then we're going to harm our knees. And it's, it's a long-term effect. Okay, we, I don't want anybody to go through, you know, the meditation and all the spiritual aspects by her harming their body. There's no point in this. We need to keep the body healthy, okay? Sometimes I don't even perform Padmasana at all, just in order to avoid uh, the knee movements. You know, the knee, sometimes it can affect knees very bad. Not sometimes, most of the times. Okay. People who are new to this channel, they can consider subscribing if they find this information valuable. The more content will come like this. And uh, if you want your consultation, if you want your schedule as per your body type, as per your system, then definitely you can seek consultations. The email ID is in the description. Definitely for astrological details and classes for yoga, astrology, as well as chakra activation. Please feel free to contact and don't practice anything regarding to chakras. Please, it's my humble request. Please consult. Okay. Now let's get into Padmasan. So first, for Padmasan, <coughs> see, the knee movement is like this. Knee doesn't go like this. This is not the knee movement. Knee is made to go like this. Not like this. That movement from here to here is the hip joint movement. Okay? So before we prepare the knees, before we prepare the hip joints, we need to understand the movement. If we directly bring the leg up here and we try to fix it here because the, the uh, heel, it needs to come over here. It should touch your body. But the point is, if you try to bend it, you're definitely going to harm your knee. Because if, you, if your hip joint is not in that flexibility zone. So the very first thing is, you just practice uh, Malasan. I'll, I'll put up a link here. And the other thing is, you get down into this position, spine straight, look down. Hands here down. Now relax. Your hips are down. Now move. Swing swing your hip joints will open every day hmm? this is one of the moves that you can practice malasan is the second move that you need to practice then to facilitate the hip joint before every time before you practice padmasan you know first make big zeros as wide as possible from out into out out to in but the same with the other leg. <laughs> A lot of grass here. And with that, the butterfly pose, the butterfly asan is important. So you go, flap your knees with control. The other thing is, I'll go sideways. Just Strike your leg nil down. Other leg. Both the legs. And then this exercise. Grab your leg. Go side to side. It will facilitate your back as well as your hip joint. Same with the other leg. My ground is uneven, so if you take perfection in this video, I'm sorry for that. So now comes the part of Padmasan. Once you are warmed up from this region, bring one leg, like as if you are in cross leg position. Grab one leg, just let the other leg relax on the floor. Fold it, fold the knee well, and take it as far as possible from here to here. Take it as far as possible. 
open up the hip joint from here to here this degrees okay now slowly lift it slowly now this heel is attached to the body now bring it bring it here okay now you'll see there's no pressure on the knee first you can also do you can do half padmasan where the other leg is the foot is supporting your leg so the knee is not hanging down if it's hanging down it's going to pressure here please don't do that now if you are done with this now slowly get the other leg out in the same way keep it close keep it close keep the neck uh, sorry the knee move close with the other leg also so keep it close get it wide wide then slowly lift it up the same way put it right here so this will become your padmasan okay for padmasan <coughs> you don't need to push your body if you push you definitely going to harm your knees for sure 100% first make your body a little flexible let your hip joints move a little bit go like this and that you know warm up a little bit you will find that uh, very easy just practice this way and do let me know how you feel when you practice it and when you perform it for the very first time even do let me know in the comments till next time i'll see you on adyog namaskar